Cause bitch, guess what happened? about to do this little get ready with me it's not like officially a get ready with me because i'm probably gonna put it in my vlog but i kind of want to do like a little recap of yesterday's homecoming i did record the physical homecoming but i didn't like necessarily vlog like the little stuff that you would normally see in the vlog like me walking talking to friends you know shit like that so I want to talk about it so that's why I say it's like a get ready for me because I have somewhere else to be tonight and I cannot use any of these brushes because all of them have glitter every last one all right so yeah like I said yesterday was the actual homecoming concert it was a Gucci man and new impressions um basically I the doors had closed at 10 and me and my friend, we ended up going kind of hella late. And, well, we ended up getting there at like 9.50, but we ended up actually getting in the building at 10. So yeah, we ended up getting to the building at 10, and literally at like 10, the DJ was playing a little bit, and he was like, yeah, y'all ready to see Gucci? And we were like, yeah. And, you know, I guess a few more people was coming in, and Gucci didn't even come out until 10.20, and he only performed for like 30 minutes. No, he only performed for 30 minutes, and the the actual concert was honestly over at 11, so I paid $40 for an hour, and I was like, wait, that was it? And I, like, literally, when I had walked in, um, New Impressions, the go-go band, they was just ending. Like, they played like two songs. And then they was hyping up for Gucci. If y'all ever want to get glitter off your face, this is how. Take some tape and just go to all the places. I swear it will come out. But anyway, yeah. They had just left. They were setting up for Gucci. Gucci came. And I was like, yes. And he performed for 30 minutes and the concert was over by 11. And I'm like, that's really it? Like, I paid $40 for this? And it was like, allegedly, allegedly, it was rumored that for that 30 minutes performance, he got 100K. And I'm like, I mean, to be honest, it's Gucci. Like, I always use the reference that Gucci charged, Sway, was going to charge Sway in the morning. 40k for 12 bars for a show that you're supposed to go on and like you know do the 12 verses for free so I wasn't that bad but then at the same time Gucci does have other performances and other concerts and you know he performs for a long time especially if it's only him he has an opening act and stuff and it was just like well damn like that was it. Like, this is what I got all cute for. And I'll insert some pictures and stuff of what I wore. And I was just, like, I was mad about it because it was just like, well, damn. I mean, of course I was extremely happy to see Gucci, but at the same time it was just like, like a that was it type thing. And then the fact that I missed new impressions as well, it made it worse because it was like, I really didn't get my money worth. So that's why. I'm trying to kind of sort of hurry up and get dressed because we don't know if I was supposed to go to this party. The school's having a um, a 90s party. And I think I think I'm a little more about these. And I told her um, did she want to leave at 11? So I'm trying to at least go to her room by like 10:30ish. But keep in mind it's 9:42. I'm not even close. I'm not even close to being dressed. So, yeah, I'm trying to, like, kind of sort of rush, but not really. Because I want to actually get there at 11. Because the, 
the party is over at 2 a.m. But I actually want to, you know, be there. Like, I actually want to be there at 11, 12, 1, 2. Not stand there at 11 and take up all my time trying to get through security clearance. Like, I want to enjoy it. I mean, it was good. I would give it like a 7 out of 10. Just because I'm a really big Gucci fan. That's why I was so pressed to go. But it's like the amount of money that I spent and the amount of time that I took on myself. It was just like, it wasn't really that much worth it. But like, it was worth it. But the rest of this weekend should be lit because they're having a tailgate tomorrow. Which is basically where a whole bunch of vendors come. And, you know, it's kind of just something that the campus does. It's basically like one big cookout for, for the campus. Sponsored by the university. And, you know, so it's, it's a really fun event. And I never went just because I never had somebody to go with me. So I'm going to try to go with my friend, another friend. And you know, just see what it's all about. And plus, there's a step show tomorrow as well that I'm going to. Um, and one of my friends is supposed to be coming down here, and I'm supposed to meet up with her. But I'll probably just hang out. I'll probably just hang out with the one friend all day. And then, you know, I'm showing y'all all the little turning up that I'm doing. I'm definitely still being a very studious. I'm still being a studious student because I still gotta walk across that stage and um I'm still getting my work done it's just it's been a struggle cause like I didn't get back home and so I I didn't go to um she almost came back um, it's been like, it is been sloppy. Whoa. Yeah, like I was saying, I'm still being, you know, studious and stuff. Yeah, that's what I was saying. My teacher, she gave a test the day after homecoming. And keep in mind, I came in at 4, woke up for my 11 o'clock class at like 10.30, threw on some clothes, found out the class was canceled because of an emergency. And missed my 12 o'clock. No, yeah, missed my 12 o'clock. And I went, I had to go to my 1 o'clock because that was when it was the test. Like, I had a little, little space to study, but I really didn't because when was I actually going to be focused enough to study? Like, I, I woke up drunk. Like, you know, like. <laughs> And she just didn't care. It's just like, I hate professors like that. Because, like, you really, like, she, she's that type of professor where she really wonders why people don't take her class. But it's for little stuff like this. Like, I don't know if I should really go all out with my look. Because yesterday I had wore, I was wearing extra. And I wore these glasses with my outfit. But my lashes were so long that I couldn't even wear the, I couldn't even wear them the way that I wanted to. So I'm like, do I want to tone it down? Because I'm wearing, I'm wearing glasses again. You know what? I think that's as good as it's going to be. Just keep it moving. So yeah, the party is tonight. It's a 90s party. My outfit is lit. I love you think that this party is kind of going to be like lit. Because I looked all on Yomiya's Twitter. And everyone's asking, is someone selling a ticket? And I'm like, that joint must be sold out. And if it's sold out, that's a good thing. And also, outsiders can come to this party. So, you know, alumni can come and stuff like that. And it's like, so this party is really going to be lit. Because I look all on Twitter and everybody's just asking, yo, you got a ticket, you got a ticket. Somebody selling this ticket for the love. And it's like, even currently, if I look now,
I am so pissed because I sat up here and me and my friend was supposed to go to the 90s party, right? And we planned this out like way earlier, like a couple hours earlier, but she, earlier. But she goes, oh, well, she was tired. And I was like, I mean, you don't have to go to the party till like 11 because doors close at 12. Tell me why this girl, I called her because I had asked her like two questions and she ain't answered. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? So I called her twice and she picked up the damn phone and the bitch asleep. And I'm like, bruh. And the only other person I wanted to go with, she's not, she said she wasn't gonna buy a ticket because she ain't got the money. So I'm like, I'm not about to waste an outfit. So I'ma just get lit right quick, walk to the party and just turn up by myself and hopefully I see somebody there. But that just blew me. Cause it's like, bitch, I'm out here all looking like a snack ready to take my little pictures, ready to have fun. And this bitch ain't even dressed. And literally when I called her on FaceTime, she uh she fell back asleep. I'm just like, okay. 